Package Device and Software would like to introduce you to our new WK1 Access Point and its user-friendly interface. Very easy access, very easy to set up. When you first log into the dashboard, you can immediately see the setup you have for the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz. If you come here and you select the LAN settings option, you can set it up as static address or DHCP. If you want to change the IP address, you can go ahead and make that change here. If you have a separate router besides the package router, then you can make that change here as well. Now, if you want to change your SSID configuration, you come to Network and select Wireless. From the Wireless menu, you have four tabs, Security Profiles, Configuration, Guest Network, and the Current Radio tab. This is where you can set up your operation mode for access point, repeater, or bridge. You can set up which wireless mode you want to use depending on the devices you have on the job site. And you can set up the channel mode to 20, 20, 40, or 40, as well as the static channel you would like to place the access point on. When you click on the security profiles tab, you now have an option for setting up multiple security profiles, which is for your encryption as well as your password setup. So when you're ready to set your SSIDs, you can apply that security profile instantly to that SSID. So if we click on configuration, you have your 2.4 gigahertz and your 5 gigahertz. When you select your SSID to change, you can change the name you can select the security profile. Again, this is from what you created on your security profiles tab. And if you want to have the SSID to be on a different VLAN besides VLAN 1, you can click on the gray box, gray circle, and you can select the VLAN that you want it to be on. Once you've made this change, you can scroll down and you can do the same to your 5 gigahertz as well. And you can select the apply button. This will set up your new SSID configuration. If you go to your guest network, this is again for your guest network setting on the user interface itself. You can set up one for the 2.4 band as well as the 5 gigahertz band and you can make any IP changes that you prefer to make if you do not want them to be on the default setup. Once you're done, you click on apply and apply the new configuration. If you want to update your firmware, a new added option here is you can click on the check update to update it through the cloud if you have internet access through your access point. So if you need to update it and there's an available firmware to update, you now have this option to do it automatically rather than having to always upload the file first and then do a local update. If you want to go back to your dashboard immediately, you can select this WK1 and it will take you back to your dashboard for your WK1 access point. Very easy, very user-friendly, easy access to set up.